Good morning, everybody. How are you this morning? Welcome to today's tarot. Welcome those of you who are tuning in from the UK, the US, um, America. I've already said that. Okay, um, South Africa, the Philippines, Barcelona in Spain, and of course, beautiful Australia. How are you this morning? How was your weekend? Hi, everyone who's jumped on right now. How was your weekend? Did you have a lovely, restful weekend filled with joy and happiness? I certainly hope that was for you. Um, I certainly had a wonderful weekend. And I want to very quickly talk to you about this. Can you see what I've written in the comments box? Taking on a sense of a lazy taking on a sense of being lazy what does that mean well look at this way right so we're getting our ideas together and we really know that we are you know the end result and that we are responsible for our own our own future we are the creators of our destiny and we create our future we create what we want and then we go about doing the do, and we do this and we do that. And of course, there's a certain amount of do that you do, but it's how you do it. Now, if I go back on my past, I know that I was like, I did the do with a sledgehammer. Yes, I had the sledgehammer and I would slash it. Believe you me, I was a slasher with a hedgehammer. Yes. And I was always in Struggle Street, always behind the eight ball, always trying to catch up, always stressed. And that is a lot of years of doing that. And, and in the last 12 months, I have learned so much about myself. I'm so proud of me that I have stepped into the unknown and let go of what I thought was was real and let go of what I thought how the world worked and I let go and I'm practicing being lazy now what is lazy usually in our world means right it usually means that we that you're a sloth you know I think I mentioned it in one of my posts a sloth from the black lagoon that you that you let other people just do things for you that you don't get off your butt and do something and really, that's a way of we, how we compare people, you know, the doers versus the lazy people. And I'm telling you now, my, in my doing, and I'm, this is the truth, in my doing the do, I thought that the more I did, the more brownie points I'd get in heaven, but also the more love that I'd receive from others. And the, the pure, honest truth is you don't. Because people see you as a doer and they're always saying, oh, why don't you just calm down? Why don't you just settle down? And the truth of that is, everybody, it doesn't give you any brownie points. You're the one that suffers. And I know for myself, I suffered because I thought, I really, really, really thought that that's what I had to do. And now I have seen the light and I'm here to share it with you. Don't be it. Don't be. Look, do the do. Sure, but don't go overboard. And try, those of you who are doers out there, comment in the comments box, go, yeah, Wanda, I know what you're talking about. I'm a doer. Whether you're male or female, we have male and female doers. It's not just mostly the females. There are males out there who are extremely, highly over-conscientious, right? And being lazy, taking on that idea, I change the language of it. Lazy to, mean, to me now means I'm being lazy. I'm being lazy because I'm allowing, I'm being in the flow. I'm going downstream, as Esther Hicks would say. I'm in the downstream flow. Once we start to go upstream, we start to have a resistance. So by me being lazy is actually taking my time to do things, doing one thing at a time. One thing at a time, not 10 things at a time focusing, maybe doing five or six things in the day, but doing one thing at a time. Does that make sense? Saying no more often, making sure that it doesn't put me out first, 
because I'm no one's slave unless I think that I have to be. Does that make sense? So that is very, very important. So are you going to be a lazy bones today? I certainly hope so. And you know what? If you take on the power, the power of lazy bones, you're going to have a beautiful day. All right, here we go, lazy people. Okay, here we go. Who's lazy? Comment below. Oh, it's my lazy day. I love it, Shirley. Yay. So those of you who are going to be lazy, even if you're feeling a little bit sick today and you're not feeling too well, this is another thing I want to tell you about the energy that's happening right now. If you are feeling sick, you feel fluy, you're, you're having trouble with your bowels at the moment, um, you're all in your head and you just you feel like you're in a fog and you know you're not well and if you can't take time off, take on the attitude of lazy and do what you can and reach deep within yourself, deeper than deep and go down to that very deep layer of yourself and say, come on, you can get better because that is an energetic shift going on. And I think I've mentioned it before that we've got till May. Now, we're coming up to March and March is going to be like full on. So if you're feeling unwell at the moment, that is because you are going through an energetic shift. So look after yourself. You might need some extra vitamins like magnesium, for instance, um, some, uh, you know, normal vitamins and minerals for your daily B, maybe the B12s, um, magnesium, right? Uh, what else? Zinc. Okay, um, you might also need some ionised water. So if you've got a friend who's got a, a K8 water machine or anything of that nature, drink ionised water, not the shit from the tap. Okay, get some really good water, not even the stuff from bottles, unless it's in that good plastic or in glass. Get some water into you and just take it easy, right? Take it easy if you can. Alrighty, so here's the card for today. So universe, what is the message? Please, beautiful universe. Beautiful universe. Thank you for all of those who have hopped on. Okay. Oh my goshes. Okay. The seven of wands. What does that mean? The seven of wands is going is actually in the theme of what we were talking about last week. Strangely enough, if you look at all the, that guy, he looks like he's about to throw a sword out, you know, or a spear out. What does that mean? The seven of the seven of wands. The wands is about action. So for now, he's he's hanging off a little bit because now you have to wait a little bit. Now it's about expecting a message to come through for you. So again, from last, taking off from last week's um, uh, conversation about messages and waiting, we've still got that happening today. We're a little bit further along the trail though. Um, the seven is, is having a think about taking little action steps putting all your things in a row and doing one thing at a time like I was just talking about and also expecting a message. Now, um, the message can be from family. It can also be from outside your family. But usually with this, with this, I might just pull another card. Hang on a sec and see what that means. Ah, okay. Look at this. So... I pulled another card just to get some meaning around it. Okay, so this means you're going to get a message very, very soon. In the next seven, to either today or in, the, in, the, in this week to follow, and it's going to be a decision that you have to make. So when you get that, when you get that message, you're going to have to go, yeah, I'm going to do it, or no, I'm not. And that's coming up for you if you're on right now particularly if you're on right now in this zone, not necessarily the replay later on, but if you're on right now, that's what it's going to be about. So be prepared. If you've got something hanging over your head or you need a decision made, right, then this is going to be coming very, very soon in the next week. Now, this is also what I want to tell you. If it's about a job or something and you don't get it, don't panic because it's not meant to be. Okay, this is the, the the message I'm receiving right now. Do not panic. Do not think it's the last thing on earth that you're ever going to get a chance to do because it wasn't meant for you. There's something better. There is something better on its way. How do I know that? Because the clubs and the hearts always work for you. 
right there's no resistance there they always walk work for you in the betterment for you so if you miss that job if you miss that opportunity or it seems that way go no problem because I'm being lazy and I'm in the flow of things and that is okay the universe is conspiring with me to give me what I truly desire even beyond what I know for myself because the universe covers everything and it knows does that make sense and putting your faith in that so don't go down a, a dark hill with it okay so today's reading is for here we go Tanya Phillips I think you're in New York aren't you darling Yes, I, I can't remember where you are. There's so many people coming from New York and this place and that place and Costa Rica. So I love it. I love it. So this is for you, Tanya. This is your card, baby. Let's have a look and see what the angels have to say for you today. Okay. Oh, my gosh. We've got the angel of serendipity. What does this mean for you? It means you have magic in your life. After a long time, and for those of you who are on right now, the magic is just there. You are nearly, nearly, nearly there, so don't give up the goat yet. Use your intuition. Look for opportunities. When you're in that flow, opportunities pop out to you and take on the, the learnings of Mel Robbins. For those of you who don't know about Mel Robbins, she talks about a five-second rule. And your intuition can come up from your tummy. It can make you feel tingly. We all have different experiences of how we feel our intuition. And when that intuition comes up, you've got to act in that five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, take action. Now, you might get, and sometimes, you know, I know for myself, my own higher self sometimes whispers to me, and I don't take action and I wonder why things aren't happening. And that's because if I'm not in the flow, I'm not going to be looking at the signposts because I'm too busy with my head down, my bum in the air, doing completely ridiculous things and not allowing the universe to speak through me. Ah, okay, the big apple, is that you? DC. Okay, yes, Tanya. So, Tanya, that's for you. So stay in the flow of things. And there we have the water. The magic is on its way. And for all of us here, watch your emotions. Watch what makes you happy, right? Watch what, watch what makes you go down. You might have someone like a client come in and go, oh, and they've had a bad day and they can, you know, make you feel that way too. But don't take it on. Do not take on that, anyone else's energy. Keep to your own energy today and for this week, especially with this rise coming into March, the energy, and it's going to create um, different waves coming through for yourself. So, as, so if you try to stay in flow, not try, but do your best. And how Esther Hicks, listen to a few Esther Hickses on um, YouTube, right? Particularly her latest ones, they're brilliant. And, and she talks about... What is the next best feeling that you can get that will lift you up, lift that will lift your vibration? And that could be, oh, I'm thinking about Costa Rica. That's my favourite spot. I haven't been there yet, but I hope to get there one day. That's my, that's my desire, to get to Costa Rica and do a wonderful workshop with one par. Wow, that would be amazing for me. So what is your little dream that you have that you'd love to do? And think about that dream. You know, think about being a millionaire, something that you just love or, or seeing a family friend you haven't seen for ages and tapping into that feeling, tapping into that emotion is going to get you there. It's going to get you back into the flow. Does that make sense? I hope it does. And look at that. So, Tanya, I hope that's helped today, darling. And, of course, decisions to make this week, people, some decisions to make and also a decision being made for you with a message. Okay, and do not panic if it's a yucky one. Let me know if that happens to you. Let me know if you have a decision to make. And here is this week's special. Okay, so for coming in on March the 1st, which is a Saturday, so starting next week, I'm going to have another tarot special for you. A half an hour reading for you um, at a super, super great rate so you can get the answer to what's bugging you the most. It's only a half an hour read, so if you're interested, 
PM me and go, hi Wanda, I want to know what that half hour special is, all right? And I'm only having it for 10 people because I've only got room for 10 more people this month. So starting on the first, I can slot you in my free time. Okay, guys, I hope that has been helpful today. Being a Monday, change the world today, everybody. Change the world with your smile, your love, your heart, your good deeds, and don't be a slave. And remember, what are we practicing on? Put on your lazy shoes. Everybody, I will see you tomorrow around this time around 9.45, around that time. Guys, I'll see you later. Big kiss. See you tomorrow. Bye.